Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBPNet's video series on C++ and in this video we will see how to return an array from a function in C. Okay, so this is our program here. So this is your main function and you are just calling this function and in this function you are returning this array. This array is of three size and one to three are the values. Okay, and returning this array, this is integer pointer, arrays are type of pointers so this is also good. We are getting in integer pointer and we are just simply printing 0, 1 and 2. So this code is looking good but it is not going to compile because there is a problem. Okay. I mean compile time morning is there but it is a runtime problem. Why? Let's see that. So first of all let's compile this program. So I have compiled it and it is telling that this exe has stopped working. Why? Because you are calling this function here. We are coming here. We are creating an array that is also okay. We are returning array that is also fine integer pointer that is also fine everything is fine here but the problem is you are returning this array which was created inside this function here but if you remember i mean if you have watched my previous video i have already told that if you are returning from a function and that function have some local variable created inside that so once you will get out of that function that local variable will be destroyed so this is our local array. So this array is also going to get destroyed. That's why you are not getting that array here. Even though it is kind of pointers and all, but it will get destroyed. So one thing you need to keep in your mind that you should never return any local. Okay. If it is returning this array and every value is getting copied one by one here, then it is okay. But that is not the case. You are just simply returning a pointer here and this array will point this array whereas this array is not there. Okay. So always remember returning pointers of local and returning references of local are not good idea. Okay. So let's see how to achieve this. So we have studied the use of static keyword here. This was asked in one of my friend's interview and he couldn't give the right answer for this he he told me that okay i was returning like this and i was like oh my god you did this mistake and he was like oh oh so watch this carefully they might ask you as well so static keyword use is like whenever you create anything with static keyword that memory is not gonna get destroyed until unless your whole program is getting terminated okay so this is kind of a global memory okay which will get created and will not get destroyed so inside function you create a static array and you return that array like this everything is okay now so if i will compile this let's compile and see you got the answer here one two three okay as expected the only problem was this array was getting destroyed so one of the ways make that array static and you are good to go okay there are other things with static like if you will call this function again then this line is not going to get executed then only it makes sense right so we will not discuss all those part our main point is how to return arrays okay so this was first way second way is create array dynamically so let's do that in order to create array dynamically you will be doing like this new integer of size 3 and let's initialize this array array of 0 will be initialized with 1 array of 1 will be initialized with 2 and array of 2 will be initialized with 3 and we're just simply returning this array okay so let's compile this as well see this is also compiled and running successfully okay and why this code is working we all know whenever you use this new operator or malloc operator this goes to heap okay this memory is not created inside the stack of the function okay this will get created in heap which is another kind of a global memory that's why you are just returning the address of that memory from here and accessing here so that is totally fine okay in order to understand this little better let's draw some diagrams here let's look at the way this program will run so first of all the running will start from here so in that case and we all know if you are creating a function, it means you are creating a stack. 
So let's suppose this is tag and it is growing this way and you call this main function. So this main function address will reside here. Let's suppose this is a zero cross zero and here it is our main. Okay. And this much memory was allocated for main. Okay. Let's suppose from zero cross zero to zero cross two or something. Okay. Then this main is calling this function. So this function will be residing on top of main like this okay so this is our function stack here you are creating this array of size 3 but this memory is a byte addressable memory in that case 3 into 4 and 4 because you are having integer data type so 4 cross 3 is equal to 12 so from 2 to 14 okay so 0 cross 14 so this is total 12 bytes of memory okay here your array will reside let's suppose you're having this array like this okay but when you are returning from here to again inside main then this whole thing will go okay so whatever this array you created here this will also get destroyed okay but let's suppose you didn't created this array on top of stack you created it like this I mean using the heap memory using this technique okay so in that case you will be holding a pointer of array which is nothing but the address of some memory here let's call this a global or a heap memory here you will have 12 bytes of data okay and this starting address let's suppose this starting address is 0 cross 15 then this 0 cross 50 will be assigned inside this array okay and you're just simply returning this array here which is nothing but you're returning this 0 cross 15 from here to here okay so as I told if you're coming out from here and going here this will get destroyed but notice this you didn't create anything so there is no problem and you can happily use this array here because this memory is created here okay and now it's your responsibility to delete this memory okay and as this is an array the delete sequence is actually i have not created that delete sequence so to delete that you will have to write something like this delete keyword delete and this bracket and write the name of your array which is arr and semicolon okay this is the syntax for writing delete on array of pointers okay so i think we are done here in next video we will see how to return two dimensional array this was one dimensional array c okay and here we return one dimension in next video we will see how to return two dimensional or n dimensional array okay keep watching bye bye